What's up, ladies and gentlemen, Aquilonia and of course, as always, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that's new here, I am so happy to have you. For those of you that have been living under a rock, however, there's been, um, let's just say New World has been in a bit of a tuffle the last few days. Uh, people were sort of hyped, maybe cautiously optimistic, maybe cautiously pessimistic about the game. And over the last few days, well, let's just say everything that could go wrong on the eve of your beta releasing has gone wrong. At this point, uh, New World's cash shop has been the 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 center, of this, really the center of all of the discussion. No one right now is talking about the gameplay. No one gives a shit about the, the combat. No one cares. All everyone is talking about is the New World cash shop model. Now, of course, Things really got heated, and I, I, I need to show you guys this. Things have sort of boiled over with Ashes of Creation's creative director actually stepping in and saying, this is bullshit. Now, he did apologize, and he called his actions unprofessional, but at the end of the day, it, it is sort of an interesting dilemma. Now, before we get into the video and into the article, let me be clear. Um, so that everyone knows what we're talking about. New World came out and, and they released their cash up on the alpha, but behind an NDA. So people who were on the alpha at the time signed an NDA. They weren't allowed to talk about the game. Luckily for us, one of the people in the alpha had the principles to say, you know what? Fuck your NDA. This cash up that you've just launched is kind of stupid and, and it, it should not be in the game. Um, now, just bear in mind, just to clarify, this was done on their NDA Reddit. So people that were had access to the alpha, they had access to the Reddit. The entire Reddit was under NDA and they released this behind the NDA wall uh, as an upcoming feature that will be tested later on in the alpha cycle. Uh, and someone leaked it because they just said, this is bullshit, I'm sorry. So to that man, you, sir, are a true gentleman. Now, how would the cash shop work? Well. At first, um, a lot of people said, wait a second, you're going to sell boosts and uh, sort of skill boosts as well as level boosts? Like, what the hell is that? Uh, and then they clarified. So Ashes of Creation or New World came out with a clarification on Twitter saying, look, to clarify, at launch, it will be cosmetic only. We may later on, they, they had a whole article, we may later on add things like boosts and things, but at launch, it will be cosmetic only, which exactly what I said at the time of making my original video. There at launch is the equivalent of me saying, I will not punch you in the dick today. I promise there will be no punching of dicks today. Of course, I make no promises for tomorrow or the day after, or the day after that, I simply promise you today, you can rest easy. That is literally what their at launch meant. We won't fuck you today, but we may fuck you in the future. Uh, this, of course, led to outrage from almost every single person. Because at the end of the day, if you're already, you're not even launched yet, and you're already thinking cash shop boosts, skill boosts, then what the hell is going to be in this cash shop? Because most games take three or four, you know, two or three expansions before they even start talking about a cash boost or, you know, any sort of boost on their store. You are literally thinking about it at launch. You're thinking about it. Now, they did say that they are looking into uh, expansions and those are fine. But the, the at launch, the cosmetics and then the boosts is really what got people's tits up. So let's get into the article. Creative director of Ashes of Creation, Stephen Sharif, may not be the most outspoken developer in the industry, but recently his hot take on the upcoming Amazon Game, Amazon Game Studios title, New World, has made some waves. The Discord message in question hasn't been removed, and to this I actually have to give Stephen and the people uh, working for Ashes of Creation a lot of credit. He put out a message, he then realized that his message was unprofessional, but he did not remove it. They're, they're not trying to hide their act of unprofessionalism, at least at the time of this writing. Um, 
hasn't been removed but has been deemed unprofessional from Sharif himself earlier today on Reddit. The commentary that led to Sharif's eventual Reddit explanation hinged on a conversation around New World's cash shop, uh, items that were leaked earlier this week, and addresses the AGS on Friday, May 14th. Of course, this information ruffled quite a few feathers in the MMORPG community and it seems as though Sharif was no different, as his original response directly from the Discord post can attest. I really enjoyed how it was stated they would include quality of life items like level boosts and trade skill boosts, but nothing that affects competitive aspects of the game. So by a design, level boosts and trade skill boosts do affect the, the balance of the game. Uh, quality of life items is, to my mind, a, a very... It's a scumbag word. Because basically what quality of life items means is we're going to make your life as hard and as... Uh, what's the... What, what's the... What's a nice word for this? We are going to make it feel like you're crawling naked through glass. Literally with a rose tucked up your asshole. This is what we're going to make it feel like. But then, if you do not want a rose stem shoved up your ass and crawling naked through glass we will sell items that we will deem quality of life so that you can sort of skip uh, the more boring parts of the game right why you do this amazon i was flattered when they drew inspiration from some of my designs but honestly who the fuck made this decision i just want some new blood in the genre for fuck's sakes now i don't know exactly which designs they drew inspiration from uh, that we would have to wait and see if Amazon did actually draw some inspiration, which is perfectly fine. Of course, as Sharif says there himself, he would be, he, he, he feels flattered that this is the case. And I agree with Stephen Sharif in this, uh, the final words here. I want some new blood. I think the MMO industry, and for those people that's going, well, MMOs are dead, you're wrong. It's not that MMOs are dead. It's that there's nothing new in the, in the market. If you look at the hype that exists around every newly announced MMO, it's clear this community is not dead. We're still here. We still want good, decent content. The problem is we're not being offered it. Every company that comes in does the exact same scumbag shit uh, that the previous ones did. In fact, they seem to be learning from each other how to be even bigger scumbags. This seems to be the main thing that they have in common. Uh, Sharif's commentary earned some praise from fans of Ashes of Creation, while the New World Reddit is largely debating the possibilities of a pay-to-win cash up at launch. While it's unclear which design specifically he believes Amazon drew inspiration from, Sharif, in his Reddit explanation, addresses the unprofessionalism in he, of his words and also understands that, uh, that AOC isn't wholly immune from cash shop drama. Of course it's not. There's always going to be some drama around cash shops because most players, on the face of it, does not want uh, cash shops in their games. At least the, the players that actually care about playing a game. I agree, my commentary was unprofessional and I will endeavor to be more tempered in my response on issues I care a lot about. I do not think that his comments or his commentary was unprofessional. I think it's high time that the people in the MMO industry start calling each other out for the bullshit that they pull. Um, I don't necessarily see this as an unprofessional act. When did we decide that developers are not allowed to attack other people's games? At which point was this decided? I, I don't know. I mean, these people are in competition with one another. They should be allowed to bash each other as long as it, it remains civilized, which as far as I could tell, uh, Steven didn't swear at them here. He didn't call them fucking morons or cunts or anything like that. He, he was just annoyed. So I don't necess necessarily agree that this is an unprofessional response, and I will endeavor to be more tempered in my response on issues I care a lot about. Sometimes it's difficult when, as a player, I was excited for their MMO and what it brought to the MMO space. I think we can all agree. Uh, the original premise of New World is something that's very interesting and something that I think we could all say sounded exciting, uh, which desperately needs new successful products. 100% agree. 
The MMO space is so dead. Every game does what every other game does. It, it, it's just so boring. So we do need desperately new blood in the space. Uh, I know we have taken our own flack for our pre-order system, of which I have tried my best to engage and explain how our packages work and how our cosmetics offered uh, are used in variants to actually help build our world. Now, just very quickly uh, on this uh, on this sort of topic, uh, let me just be clear. Um, a lot of people were very angry that in order to even play the game, you had to pay something like $400, which isn't true. The, the $400 is only for access to the alpha. If you want to be able to taste the game, if you want to play the alpha, that can be $400. You don't have to pay $400 to play the game. The game is going to be normal 60 bucks. That's it. It's going to be 60 bucks at the end when it finally launches. Uh, the $400 is a simple backing. So it's to back the game before it even launches and you get a bunch of goodies for that $400 uh, backing. But that it should not be it should not be believed for one second that the game is going to be $400 at launch. The game would sell no copies. I I would I would I'm really hyped for AOC. I will not play AOC uh, if it's $400 for the game. They can go suck a dick. That will never happen. Uh, I know we've taken our own flag, okay? Uh, the MMO community is diverse and has many opinions on the aspects of monetization. So, of course, we will each have our own opinions, and that's fine. But the best thing a company can do is be upfront about their monetization intent from the start and do their absolute best to stick to what they've said. Uh, and if changes are needed, explain why i so agree with him here i am so sick of seeing games coming out and promising you all manner of things I and mean, then a year or two down the line all of those promises are dead and now suddenly we end up with just a slew of things being impl uh, implemented so for example when we had world of warcraft classic right classic wow launched we were told no cash shops none of that shit this is the classic experience and we do not believe ian actually said this they don't believe that items shop items would be conducive to the experience of classic wow because it didn't exist back in classic come tbc classic suddenly no suddenly it no longer matters right now there is cash shops fuck the whole wouldn't be conducive to a great experience in classic no no now it is conducive to a great experience in classic here's all your all your cash shop items um which probably isn't going to be the first, the last by the way there is most likely going to be some major cash shop items being added to the game uh, as the game moves forward because blizzard clearly tried with classic they realized they weren't making as much money as they could and they said no screw it we're going to start adding the cash shop now so that we can make good money so that we can get these people to pay through their nose for an old fucking game right it's not even a remaster of the old game it's just an old game right uh it's just the same game it's just the the classic version thereof so i i agree with steven here stick to why you're doing what you're doing uh, stick to what you promised your players and if changes are needed explain why blizzard would win themselves so much love from the community if they actually came out and explained why they're doing these things why is the cash shop necessary if they were open and honest with their player base uh, i think people would be far more um far more open to things like this existing um hefty words that many certainly would agree with it's rare that a monetization strategy change resonates with players even if statistics and first-hand accounts show that some games benefit greatly both in population and financially when monetization changes occur even if only for a time still at this time both new world and ash of creation are in development and neither has launched so conjecture on how either of their monetization models will evolve between now and launch are just that conjecture as creation reason delayed all right so all of that none of that matters uh basically the story is that even steven sharif came out and said bullshit bull fucking shit this isn't how it's supposed to now he did apologize afterwards because obviously you don't want to make enemies even though i don't necessarily agree i think make enemies if enemies are, are required to be made um you know but that's just my opinion on things i i don't mind pissing people off uh what's your thoughts i'd love to know what you guys think of this entire cash shop drama what steven said where do you fall in, in, in this regard 
Ladies and gentlemen, to all of the patrons, if you want to become a patron, if you want to join the revolution, you should absolutely head over to Patreon. The link is in the description down below. Live every Tuesday to Friday over on Twitch. Also, you know where to find that link. Thank you so much for watching to all of the Twitch ups, the YouTube channel members, and the, the, the patrons. Without you guys, I literally wouldn't be here. So thank you so much for your support. As always, I will see all of you in the next one. Peace out, fam.